what's up air force it's your girl ariel and lenny back here on another video um today as you can see yes i put the curly wig back on because i wanted to wear my la hat that my mother got me um when she went recently but um i'll show y'all my otd a little bit later nothing special it's chill but it's cute um at the last minute i realized i could wear my camo dunks because i was like oh shoot what shoes am i gonna wear because i didn't want to just throw on my crocs because i just wanted to look put together i don't know why you know how when you barely have time to really dress up anymore any opportunity you get to put some clothes on you actually want to look like cute not like pop out cute but just like put together cute you know so that's what i'm on today i threw this wig on because i'm wearing a hat and i'm gonna wash this wig and my bang wig because i'm gonna <laughs> tomorrow i'm gonna apply my red wig because or install my red wig because we finna go out of town next week so i feel like it was a perfect time to switch my wigs and i'm so excited because it's so cute it's thick got the inches going but um yeah man i'm excited so i'll vlog me installing that and um right now i'm currently on my way to my laser appointment so hopefully there's somebody there like multiple people i'm pretty sure there is but hopefully there's somebody that's available so that i'm able to have them record my appointment if not you know then i guess y'all just won't get to see it but today is my last appointment so yeah excited about that and um if i need more sessions i'm gonna just wait to start back getting them again after i move because i feel like that's just the smartest thing to do i don't want to start um more treatments while i'm still here and then not be able to finish it but i mean i could go like a session at a time but that's just we don't have to just see about that part because i don't want to spend more money than i have to and i feel like it makes more sense to just buy a package but anyway that's neither here nor there i just want to touch base with y'all and let y'all know what's going on i'm late and it's crazy because I have my alarm set for 7, right? And I just knew I should have got up at 7 so that I could leave by like 8, no later than 8.20, right? But I was like, I woke up and I was like, I could get 30 more minutes, like 50 minutes, I could get ready in 50 minutes, right? And it's not that I can't get ready in 50 minutes. What happened was, because I knew I had to get up and wash my sheets. That was one thing. So I got up to my sheets on my bed, wash my sheets while I was in the shower, now before I got in the shower, of course I read my Bible. Well, I read my Bible in the shower actually. <laughs> and then, you know, just took my shower or whatever. Um, TMI, but you know, Mother Nature just randomly decided to arrive, so I had to prepare for that. So it just overall it just ended up I ended up running over on time. So I wanna say it was when I was in the shower, I know it was like seven forty something. And then by the time I got out the shower and I had to rush, throw my clothes on, throw my shoes on, I had to do my skincare routine real quick, throw my wig on, throw my hat on. And by the time I was doing all of that, it was like 8.15. I was like, damn, I was supposed to leave at 8.20. But thankfully, my mother, she got up and made some breakfast. And I can have grits, so... I just told her to make sure, you know, there's no dairy, so like no milk, no butter, but I can have like salt in it. So I got me some nice grits. I got me a banana. The rest of my water that I didn't finish drinking in the shower because I just, I have to have water available in the shower because I just, I don't know if it's a habit that I just created and now it's like I can't shower without water. But like, I'm telling you, I be so thirsty in the shower. Like, comment down below if you be thirsty in the shower. I don't, it can't just be me. Like, but anyway, so yeah, and I got to take my vitamin. I got my vitamin as well. I didn't bring no bag or no jacket today. Just my keys and my wallet. So we on the way and I'll just see y'all when we there. I look crazy right now. I just threw my mask on because I had too much in my hands. But 
we made it y'all um i don't see anybody else in here so i don't know if anybody gonna be able to record but we here i'm gonna change and yeah <laughs> so session is over didn't get to record nothing but i'm putting my clothes back on yeah, I'll let y'all know updates on my progress and everything else when I get in the car. All right, y'all, so update. So this was my last session of the six and um, they're noticing that it's, you know, sparse and it's thinning out some. So they, obviously I needed more sessions still. So I was trying to debate, I'm like, dang, like, do I want to buy another six because since I'm moving I didn't want to not be finished before then but I know that you know worst case scenario if I do move early next year like before my aunt and them leave I could just you know fly out on the weekends that I have an appointment however if i just go ahead and stay until they leave then i'll be able to finish if it stays like on a six week basis i went ahead and got the six the six more sessions i know my next appointment will be november 19th the week before thanksgiving and then after that because of the holidays and stuff i want to say my next session because i was doing the math before i bought it like how many sessions i would be able to, to complete by around May or whatever and May would be like my fifth session and then they say usually towards the end of the second session of six like it's um a lot more progress obviously which makes sense because you know the more sessions you do the less hair you're gonna have so I don't know if I'll need the sixth session or not but they were just saying um, I could give it to somebody else if I don't finish the six or like, you know, whatever. So I don't know when exactly in June they're leaving. So if I had to do a six session in June, the math that I was seeing, it was like around the teens, I think it would be if I'm counting by six weeks. So not sure when they're leaving. I would assume it would be the beginning of June just because um, like Texas schools, I don't know if because of COVID they had got out late May or what, but typically they get out in June. I don't know when, but we'll just have to cross that bridge when we get there. But either way, doing the math, it made more sense to buy the package for six than to purchase each session when you come because it's like 120 each visit, but I in total pay like 482 for six sessions. And like if I paid for six sessions, each time I came in, it would have been a total of like 720. So either way, it made more sense to get the package. But yeah, so hair is thinning out. I've always noticed progress, but obviously the hair is still growing. So it's not like where I want to be. And I know I was gonna continue it whenever I moved anyway, but it's just like, since I don't know if I'm moving beginning, the, beginning of the year or like around the fifth month of the year or halfway through the year, I don't know yet when I'm leaving. It just made sense to go ahead and finish what I can while I'm here because it's still, it's only October right now. So it's still, like two more months left in the year and i know i would need at least one session before the year end and then obviously the beginning of the year and like the first week of january so i it just it makes sense and i can you know stick it out until then and i would at least have half of the sessions by <clears throat> by like february but um yeah i'm thinking i should be done hopefully that just depends if because if like the math i was doing six weeks from now the week well five weeks from now the week before thanksgiving i'll have my next session and then after that it would be seven weeks because of the um the holidays and stuff so that would make it the first week of january because both weekends before that is holiday so the i know christmas eve is on saturday and then 
New Year's Eve is on Saturday. So either way, I wouldn't be available to do those unless I did like the 23rd or something like December 20. Wait, no, I'm just kidding the 21st because i know we going out of town again for christmas so we stand a week so we leaving the 22nd through the 29th or at least that's when i'm supposed to have off either way i would just have to make sure i could do it one of those days before we go out of town if not i would have to do the first week of january but either way regardless i know I know I need more sessions before I leave and since I don't know when I'm leaving I know for sure that my aunt and them ain't leaving until June so therefore if I base it on that because obviously once everybody leave I won't have a reason to be here so you know if they left sooner than that then I wouldn't be able to finish it regardless but since they gonna be here still I still have a chance to complete all six sessions before they leave so that's just what i'm basing it on but yeah um what other updates can i give y'all she was just saying that i guess after this next set of six sessions if i still needed more it would be further out so like 10 to 13 weeks something like that but that's something i would just worry about after i leave but right now i'm just focusing on finishing these sessions and then worry about the rest later but yeah that's where i'm at with it right now i wasn't planning on getting another six sessions right now anyway i was just thinking about doing it when i leave but i'm gonna need it if i don't leave until they leave basically so yeah it just made sense so that's why i did it and i will keep y'all posted on how much hair growth i have from now until i finish and um yeah so now we're gonna head back to the crib and um i gotta finish my laundry because i did my sheet i did my clothes yesterday but i gotta put my sheets back on my bed when i get home because i put them in a the dryer before i left and um whatever else we do today y'all will see and i still didn't forget i gotta show y'all my otd or whatever and that's pretty much it for right now so i'll see y'all when i get to the house we're back at the crib this is the otd got the sweatpants from tario of course got my dunks my los angeles california sheen oversized t-shirt my souvenir hat and just me But um, now I just have to make my bed. I got my AirPods so I can charge those. I charge those at the end of every week because the case lasts forever. And what towels, what towels, what towels? Oh yeah, I said I was going to log my water so far on my adulting journal because I have one of those. I don't remember what time I went to bed last night. But it just helps you plan stuff like for the week and for each day. You put the date and stuff. I don't even remember what today is. What today is the 15th. And I Let me show y'all what it looked like. One of the pages of the Adult in Journal. Um, this is like for the day, the evening. I had just filled out like the morning and the plan part. Some of the stuff be empty because I just don't be having nothing to write there. But I was trying to show y'all like, oh yeah, because it's going to be the beginning of the week. So it should be right here. Yeah. This is what it looks like for the week. You write down your groceries, your meal plans, your errands, bills, budgeting, all that type of stuff. 
there at the side of every week and then every day just look like this this is the end of every day write down some notes this is the evening busy day and then like the morning and the plan for the day so that's what i'm doing right now and then my switch is plugged up over here it been charging since yesterday so i can make sure it wasn't dead when we tried to play just dance but i'm gonna go ahead and repurchase my just dance unlimited subscription because i had turned it off because we wasn't playing it for a while but i usually get it for the year i was saying i was gonna do my water for the day so so far i've had two and i just keep logging it for the whole day you put your step count mine has been in the 15,000s so it'll either range from like 13 to 15,000 steps on average, especially because of work on a weekend. We're going to see it'll probably drop tremendously on the weekends. But I'm going to try to get my step count up for today strategically because um, since I've been up and going, I'm going to make sure we do just dance, just stay active because we don't really have any plans today. So that's on itinerary and i don't remember that i tell y'all because i know i recorded it but for something else but i um i lost five pounds so far and that wasn't the goal to like lose a specific amount of weight i know i want my stomach flat but i know you can't technically target like fat loss or weight loss or whatever so you know unfortunately i you know, I mean, I've seen it looks like it's gone down some, but I think it's like a hormonal thing or like it's bloating or something like that. But I saw this Ollie vitamin. I think I told y'all that at Target that says beat the bloat. I might start taking those soon and see if there's a difference. But like, that's the only thing I want to change. I don't really want to lose weight for real. I want to stay thick. I just want my stomach to be flat. You feel me? But yeah, I'll get back with y'all. <laughs> later hopefully we do something like us playing just dance and stuff but we'll see i might throw in a couple clips we gonna see i just know the whole copyright thing that's annoying but you know i might let y'all see a little something something we gonna see